A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the, in the Lord Jesus that as you received from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immortality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself, in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God, not to take advantage of or exploit a brother or a sister in this matter, for the Lord is an avenger in all things as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this disregards not a human being but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. Responsorial Psalm Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of His throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all people see His glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, when there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and for you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Are you missing out on what's important in life? Being unprepared can lead to unnecessary trouble and even disaster. What good is a life jacket left on the shore when the boat is sinking? Jesus' story of ten single ladies waiting for a wedding procession in the middle of the night seems strange to most Westerners today. But Jesus' audience knew all too well how easily this could happen to them. 
Wedding customs in ancient Palestine required extra vigilance and preparation for everyone involved. The bride and groom did not go away for their honeymoon, but celebrated for a while for a whole week with their family and friends. It was the custom of the groom, in company with his friends, to come at his dis discretion and get his bride and bring her to the new home. They would take the longest route possible so that many villagers along the way could join in the wedding procession. Once they arrived and closed the doors, no one else could be admitted. If the groom decided to come and bring his bride at night, then lights were required by necessity to guide the travelers through the dark and narrow streets. No one was allowed in the village streets at night without a lamp. Jesus warns us that there are consequences of being unprepared. There are certain things you cannot obtain at the last moment. For example, students can prepare for their exams when the day of testing is already upon them. A person cannot get the right kind of character, strength, and skill required for a task at hand unless they already possess it. Such a captain with courage and nautical skills who must steer a ship through a dangerous storm at sea. When the Lord Jesus comes to lead you to his heavenly banquet, will you be ready to hear his voice and follow? Our eternal welfare depends on our hearing, and many have trained themselves not to hear. We will not be prepared to meet the Lord face to face when he calls us on the day of judgment, unless we listen to him today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make me vigilant and attentive to your voice, that I may heed your call at all times. May I find joy in your presence and delight in doing your will. Amen.